the royal family is on the move at the moment. While Prince Harry returns to the UK this weekend and his father, King Charles, heads to Europe for a short solo holiday, Princess Anne is travelling back to Canada. The hard-working royal will visit the country on Sunday in her role as President of the Duke of Edinburgh Commonwealth Study Conferences. There, she will attend the 2023 conference in Banff, Alberta. She last visited Canada just a couple of weeks ago, when she spent time in the Maritime Provinces in honour of the Victoria Day weekend. During her visit, the mother of two attended a poignant event to celebrate 175 years of Canada's oldest military regiment, the 8th Canadian Hussars. Princess Anne, 72, looked fabulous as she watched the 8th Canadian Hussars exercise of the freedom of the city of Moncton Parade. Donning the Hussars' red and blue colours, Anne wore a regal Nehru coat from Shivomi style in Venetian red. The royal's fitted coat was comprised of a stunning red fabric embroidered with an oriental design. She teamed her bold scarlet coat with a bright blue dress which boasted a flippy knee-length skirt. Atches saw rising to perfection, the only daughter of the late Queen Elizabeth II wrapped up warm in a matching red printed scarf, slipping into black leather court shoes as she was armed with a simple black leather crossbody bag. Princess Anne's glamorous tour wardrobe came shortly after the royal channeled her late mother's timeless glamour at a Buckingham Palace garden party. The princess accessorized her stunning cream coat and feathered hat with a trio of pearls. Her majesty was rarely seen without her trusty pearls, which became widely recognized as part of her official royal uniform during her 70-year reign. And of course it's just a month since Princess Anne's brother, King Charles, and his wife, Queen Camilla, were crowned in a spectacular ceremony at Westminster Abbey. Anne had an important role on the day, acting as the King's gold stick in waiting. This meant she essentially acted as the King's bodyguard and was entrusted with his safety. She was pictured leading a procession of armed forces personnel behind King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla's carriage on horseback as they left Westminster Abbey and returned to Buckingham Palace. And while the princess didn't attend the coronation concert on Sunday night, she was back in action once again on Monday, May 8 as she joined a major celebration of volunteering at Gloucester Cathedral. That was the day of the big help out which saw people volunteering with charities and local groups to show their support for community work. The Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children also took part, with little Prince Louis marking his very first royal engagement. Anne, meanwhile, met volunteers from Gloucestershire at the cathedral to recognise the work they do. Volunteer Mandy Bishop said it was an honour to meet the Princess Royal. For Princess Anne to be here and acknowledge us and what we do, it is a feeling I can never describe, she said.